All right, guys. So when you look online and you're trying to decide on which hive to get, it can be really confusing. There's a lot out there. Uh, Lorenzo Langstroth, when he built the Langstroth hive in 1851, said he experimented with a bunch of different types. Abby Warre, uh, when he built the Warre hive in the early 1900s, he experimented with over 300 different types. There's a lot of them out there. Uh, it kind of goes down to about the big three right now. So you got top bars, you got war A's, and you got Langstroth's. We at the Savannah Bee Company, we use Langstroth hives because that's, or at least in our opinion, the easiest to get honey out of and uh, the most modular. Langstroth hives are built off of the same principles, which is these frames. Now you can have 10 frames, you can have eight frames. Eight frames tend to be uh, less weight, which I like them more because I'm skinny and weak. Uh, but if you, uh, if you want more honey, you can get a tin frame, but again, those are just really heavy. But they're all based off of the principle of having these frames on the inside. So this is a honey frame, and it's going to have wax foundation on the inside, and then the bees are going to use that as a guide to put comb on either side. The frames are specifically spaced, uh, and there's going to be either, if you have a tin frame, there's going to be tin, and if you have an eight frame, there's going to be eight. Pretty simple at this point. So once you build the box and you build the frames, you're gonna stack it on top of each other and uh, they're gonna build comb in it. The bottom boxes are typically gonna be the brood or baby bees, whereas the top boxes on top uh, will start to be honey and where they store pollen. Uh, so you can find, there's numerous websites, uh, and we even have links to certain websites on our blog uh, where you can buy beehives. They're not that expensive. You can get really well done ones that are handcrafted and made out of uh, cedar and stuff like that. Uh, we have a hive out in the bee garden right now that's just really well crafted. But you can also get like these hives, which I got I think for like 20 bucks a box. And then you can get other ones that are around $80 for an entire hive. So it's really not that expensive. Bees are going to cost you, depending on where you live, anywhere from $80 to $100. So again, you're not spending too much money. One of the biggest questions I get in our stores when I'm talking to people is how much does it cost, don't you need like a thousand dollars, it's a lot of time and stuff like that. It's really not that much time and you're going to thank yourself afterwards because it's rewarding in more ways than I can count.